My people wonder shall never end. He done read. Oh, this one now, eh? It is end of the road for Oluru to be seriously because the elders of Ilefe Kingdom have, uh, they are now involved. You know, before, uh, she thought it is uh, something that is just between her and the uh, Kabiesi, and they know how they manipulate Kabiesi emotionally and otherwise. And after everything, they will go scot-free from all their evil deeds and all of that. This DNA test of the twins is taking another level, seriously. You know, when they were talking about DNA, 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 uh, a lot of people were thinking, why would Kabi be asking for DNA if uh, when he was the one who announced the arrival of the twins? from Toby on his uh, uh, Instagram handle. Because that was where I saw that Toby gave birth to a set of twins. It was KBAC who first announced it before Ashley said something about it and congratulated Toby. Then all of a sudden, we started hearing uh, that the king is demanding, demanding for uh, DNA, you know? Then, only then, a lot of people were worried. Why, why would the king start demanding for DNA? From what we heard, though, like I will always remind you that all of these gist, they are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. And before we proceed, please subscribe to my channel if, if you have not subscribed. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Now, they said the reason why the king started demanding for DNA tests is because of a whole lot of things. But there was one reason. I don't know if you have watched the video. I think I've shared it here. Now, they says uh, a certain guy came claiming that uh, he is Toby's boyfriend, that he is the father of the babies and all of that. And this is an embarrassing thing that a whole wife of a king, uh, you are coming to lay claims on the, tw tw the twins. You know that one thing I do know is that before, in every nonsense, there is sense. If you remove none, the rest is sense. If you know, you know. If you don't understand it, forget about it. Now, another thing that made the king to start demanding for this DNA is because they said a certain woman stormed the palace demanding to see Olo Ritobi. Some people say she came claiming that she came to, uh, she have come to carry her babies or this and that. Well, as a matter of fact, there have been stories upon stories upon stories of these kids. So you don't even know the one to believe or to trust. But one thing I do know is that, you see, truth cannot be hidden for a very long time. No, not it cannot be hidden for a very long time. One day, one day, everything, everything, all the truth will be exposed. And that was why I said that this time, you'd be like, say, breeze don't blow and the Toby Nash don't open. <laughs> so, when this woman came to the palace and started claiming that she wants to see Toby and uh, Toby is having her uh, children and all of that, they said, that was when KBC was like, what are you saying? And they said, they asked the lady a question, and the lady narrated how she was pregnant, how uh, her family was owing Toby's family, how Toby pleaded with her to give her the baby since she got the baby from, uh, 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 since the baby is a wanted pregnancy and all of that. How she would pay her handsomely, how she will be allowing her to come and see her babies, but the baby will belong to her and all of it. Eh, my people, story too much. Story too much. Oh. They said they, that was when it looks as if KBAC stopped trusting Toby and started demanding for DNA. But ever since then, Toby have refused to do the DNA test. Now we heard, allegedly, that the elders have said that the... Uh, since KBSA have requested for DNA tests from Toby and she is declining, saying that she's not doing it, that they are not going to keep quiet and allow abomination happen in their palace, in their kingdom. That if Toby is using anything to manipulate the king, that her manipulations cannot get to all of them. And that is why they are standing their ground to give Toby 90 days. They said they gave her 90 days. Within 90 days, she should present a DNA. Uh, she should release the babies so that they will go and carry out a DNA 
on the twins that if she fails to do that that they are going to banish her from the kingdom the reason why they gave her up to 90 days is such that one for her to have an enough rest since she claimed that she have uh, 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 babies you know and for mugo it lasts like three months yes and that 90 days should be around three months then secondly if at all the baby is hers like she's claiming so kbsc will not see them and uh, there's this certain number of days maybe it should be around one month two months or three months that the king will have to see the babies so by the time the 90 days uh, is gone all of these uh, protocols would have been observed both her arrest and uh, the uh, uh, the idea of Kabi is not seeing new baby, new, not seeing newborn babies and all of that. So that was why they gave her uh, 90 days because a lot of people are saying that 90 days is too much, this that. And some people said it's better that Kabi should retrieve everything from Toby, all that she have done, he have done for her because of the babies and all of that. But one thing I know is this. If, Kab if those children belong to Kabiesi, I don't see the reason why Toby will be saying that he doesn't want, she doesn't want to do any DNA tests. Yes, you know. So right now they said the elders are now fully involved. That they are no longer going to uh, leave it for Kabiesi alone. Because it looks as if these women are having strong things, strong powers that they used to manipulate KBSC. Because when KBSC demanded for this uh, DNA, they said, Toby said she's not doing it. And KBSC did not do anything about it. He was quiet. The only thing we heard that she told Toby was that if she refused to do the DNA, that all that all uh, that the king have, he is going to wheel everything to Tadenikawu without giving to his her own children. Yet, she refused to do the DNA, and the king did not do anything about it. Guys, when I hear this one, I call the axe. Does it mean, uh, 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 happy to our king, happy to KBSU? Because at this juncture, she need, he needs help. Seriously. If all of this information are true, because I will always remind you that they are all alleged information. Okay? I do not live in the palace. Always bear that in mind. What we share here is alleged 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 simply means that they are not for stand information i wasn't there i wasn't there and i hear i hear and i hear say uh, uh, and i know say here i hear now rumor now rumor no be for stand information okay thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel if you're here to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and i want to thank you for watching bye i love you guys